Already Tyrone have won the McKenna Cup as well under his leadership and if they win today it would be quite a hat-trick. Without doubt Paddy Moriarty is one of the most versatile players in Gaelic football in his long and distinguished career with Armagh. He's played in every position including goalkeeper. In the semi-final he began at centre-half back but today he's at full forward. In Johnny Corvin, Armagh have a potential match winner. Corvin is something of an enigmatic figure, but when he's on form, he's capable of causing all kinds of problems for any defence. Last year, in fact, he was the highest scorer in the National League with an average of just under five points a game. the centenary year Ulster final is underway and straight away it's Tommy Coleman for Armagh, John Corvin Corvin is fouled and the free awarded to Armagh John Corvin and it's still in play and Tyrone get it clear here's Colin McKinstry and it'll be a sideline ball to Tyrone Kevin McCabe, but Armagh have it back again. Here's Paddy Moriarty. Moriarty, it goes wide. Skelton, the Tyrone goalkeeper with the kick out. Early chance, this could be dangerous. The bounce is awkward, but McAlinden has it covered. Gets it out to Kieran McNally. McNally along the line to Colin McKinstry. McKinstry, the man who came back out of retirement this year, rather reluctantly, but has played such a major role in getting Armagh to this final. Now it's Damien O'Hagan. O'Hagan finding Frank McGuigan. McGuigan looks up, gets sight of the posts, and it's over for the first point of the match to Tyrone. So Frank McGuigan opens the scoring after two and a half minutes. Brian McAlinden, one of the survivors of this team from the 1977 All-Ireland. Free awarded by Seamus Murray against Tyrone. Colin Harney will be the man to take it. Colin Harney back in the RMR team after missing out the semi-final through suspension. Long ball into the centre, but Kevin McCabe clears for Tyrone. Damien O'Hagan, Armagh have it back. Fran McMahon's in there. So too is Colin Harney. Along the line by Kieran McNally. Corbin. But Sean Donnelly gets it for Tyrone.
Sean Donnelly. Straight back over the sideline. Aaron McNally with the sideline ball. In goes Corbin. Could be dangerous. Moriarty goes for it, but Aiden Skelton has it covered. Skelton to Kieran McGarvey. McGarvey up to halfway. Colin Harney. This is Plunkett Donaghy. And Plunkett gets a free. Eugene McKenna. McGuigan looks up, could be dangerous once more. McAlinden comes out, still in there, and eventually just goes wide. McLinden couldn't quite get hold of it, and in came Colm Donaghy and got a boot to it, but it just went agonizingly wide. Lucky let off there for Armagh. Fran McMahon. The foot was up and the free is awarded to Armagh. Colin Harney. Stanley has it covered, clears, here's O'Hagan, McGuigan's running for it. And nice clearance by Jim McCarry, this is better play now by Armagh. Turner's looking for it, but Hugh O'Hagan gets it, McKenna now, now it's Colin McKinstry for Armagh. This will be cut out by Frank Rafferty. Sideline ball will be taken by Peter Rafferty. Versatile player, Peter Rafferty. Dangerous ball inside. Well, well, Tommy Coleman might have done better with that one. out by Aidan Skelton. Fran McMahon does well once more. Here's Moriarty, Joe Kernan's looking for it. Peter Rafferty has it now. Rafferty sends it back in and goes wide. Zarma's 26th Ulster final today, Tyrone's 9th. Hugh O'Hagan. Here's O'Hagan now. Damien O'Hagan. Dangerous player when he gets any kind of space. The finish not so good that time though. Damien O'Hagan, 6 feet 1 inches, 13 stone. Does well. Here's McGuigan. McGuigan. Tommy Cassidy's after him. Still McGuigan. Nice footwork. Sends it between the posts. Another point for Frank McGuigan. That was very well played. 
So now it's Tyrone, two points, nine minutes gone in the first half, and Armagh have yet to record a score. Brian McAlinden, who has not yet conceded a goal in the Ulster Championship this year. McKinstry and Joe Kernan there. Plunkett Donaghy looking for a two. Kieran McNally. Here's Rafferty along the, along the ground. But Kevin McCabe gets a foot to it and clears it. Here's Seamus Daly looking for McGuigan once more. Still Frank McGuigan. Taken down unfairly and gets a free. Colin Donnelly quickly takes it. And yet another point to Tyrone. Frank McGuigan gets his third score. Just over 10 minutes gone. Three points to no score, Tyrone lead. McKinstry goes in for it. Tommy Coleman has Fran McMahon outside and finds him too. Still McMahon. McMahon gets it back in. Could be dangerous and it comes back into play off the upright. That was so unlucky. Still in play, but it's signaled wide. Well, that was a golden opportunity there. Armas so unlucky as the ball put it against the crossbar and bounced back into play with Aidan Skelton totally beaten. <laughs> Free to be taken by Eugene McKenna. McGuigan looks for it, referee says play on, despite the calls for a free, Kieran McNally wins a free for Armagh. Quickly taken, here's Colin McKinstry. Brian Canavan sends it in, but Hugh O'Hagan has it covered, and O'Hagan clears it. Ariarty. Still Armagh, every ball been fought for here at Clonus. Here's Joe Kernan, the ball bounces cruelly for him. And Noel McGinn clears for Tyrone. Here's McKinstry for Armagh. Colin Harney. And Armagh coming forward once more, Ger Houlihan. Got one of the goals against Down in the semi-final. What can he do this time? Goes wide. Certainly Armagh have had their opportunities, they've had five wide so far. Referee awarding a free to Tyrone. Kevin McCabe. Colin Donaghy out for it for Tyrone. This is Colin Donaghy back inside. Looking for Paddy O'Neill. Comes back to Brian McAlinden. McAlinden finds Colin Harney. Harney to Jim McCurry.
the uh, to Armagh, taken by Colin Harney. Here's McKinstry. Rafferty runs into it well. Well, Armagh had plenty of time, but once more they send the ball wide. McKenna rises for it, so too does Colin McKinstry. He wins out this time. Jer Hoolan has it inside. John Corbin's looking for it. Fran McMahon, Kieran McNally gathers. McNally. Tommy Coleman, back to McNally. And yet again, Armagh's accuracy is certainly wanting at the moment. They still have yet to record a score, and almost 16 minutes gone in the first half. Kinstry and McKenna. McKenna wins this time. Frank Rafferty gets in the kick for Tyrone. And it comes all the way to Frank McGuigan. McGuigan has space. And McAlinden gathers. Kieran McNally calls for it for Armagh. But the distribution not too good that time. Noel McGinn sends it right back in. And the referee saw something there and awarding a free in to Tyrone Damien O'Hagan who got five points in the semi-final against Down will take this free to try and put Tyrone four points up but it goes wide, so it's still three points to no score in Tyrone's favour. A crowd of 25,000 or so here at Clonus this afternoon. And a marvellous day for football too. Look at Donaghy. Still Donaghy. Patsy Curlin. This could be very dangerous. Well, McGuigan did well to get a fist to it, turned it back inside, but there was just nobody there to latch on to it. And what a tricky player is Frank McGuigan. Ryan McAlinden with the kick out for Armagh. Plunkett Donaghy does well. But the ball goes wide. McKinstry, McKinstry inside to Brian Canavan, Brian Canavan finds Moriarty, can Armagh do somewhat better this time as the ball is gathered though by Noel McGinn, does well but only finds Fran McMahon and referee Seamus Murray awards a free to Armagh.
Johnny Corbin takes the free and eventually opens Armagh's account. 19 minutes gone in the first half. It's now three points to one in Tyrone's favour. Not such a good kick out by Skelton this time, but Noel McGinn manages to get hold of it and is brought down and is awarded a free. Noel McGinn, who plays for Sarsfields in Belfast, takes this free, finds Plunkett Donaghy. Donaghy looking for Paddy O'Neill, but Armagh eventually get it clear. Tommy Coleman finds Moriarty. Moriarty, good ball inside, looking for Johnny Corbin. The idea was excellent, but Sean Donnelly had it covered. Here's Kieran McNally. Kieran McNally has Coleman out wide. Coleman looking for Kernan. And Armagh have it. Rafferty's calling for it. The call was good. Gets it back inside. Skelton has it covered on his line. Aidan Skelton clears for Tyrone. Here's Donaghy inside to McKenna. And now Tyrone have plenty of space. And Eugene McKenna sends it right over to make it now four points to Tyrone, one point to Armagh. Eugene McKenna, the Ulster and Tyrone captain. there by Brian Canavan setting up Patsy Carlin Noel McGinn coming forward finds Colin Donaghy Donaghy trying to send it back in manages to do so but only sends the ball wide A rather tentative opening by both teams, but no doubt Tyrone making the most of their opportunities so far. The ball going straight out over the sideline there. Sideline kick to Tyrone. Eugene McKenna finds McGuigan, but Armagh scramble it clear. Here's Fran McMahon. And Plunkett Donaghy is after him. Still McMahon. Not such a good ball back there. Patsy Curlin. Can he keep it in? Still in. And the sideline ball is awarded to, to Tyrone. Peter Rafferty down injured, but back with play. It's now Frank McGuigan. McGuigan, yes, it's going over once more. Superbly taken there by Frank McGuigan. So now it's five points to one. Armagh's turn to attack, here's Moriarty, back inside, Coleman comes all the way to Rafferty, gets in the shot, but it's blocked down, and certainly the ball not going Armagh's way at the moment, Kernan, Colin Donaghy, 
Referee calls back the play. And will award a free in to Armagh. And Armagh are making a substitute. Jim McCarr, Jim McCare, the number 19, is on. As John Corvin takes the free, Sean Donnelly gets a hold of it and manages to get it clear. Colin Harney finds Rafferty. Brian Canavan. That's Coleman with the kick. Moriarty went in and the ball just went wide. So that was another opportunity for Arma. Coleman got in the kick. Moriarty came across but punched it wide. So Jim McCurr, the substitute, on in place of Colin McKinstry. McCurr, who's been so much a part of Armagh's successes in the past. The free taken, and Colin Harney gathers and gets in the clearance. Noel McGinn, this is Damien O'Hagan. O'Hagan trying to find McGuigan. McGuigan manages to get in there. But Armagh getting the free out. Tommy Cassidy did well that time to hold on to it, despite Frank McGuigan going in hard. So a free awarded to Armagh. Eugene McKenna finds Frank McGuigan. McGuigan shakes loose, and there's no stopping him from that distance. Well, Frank McGuigan certainly having a tremendous match here so far. Six points to one, and five points so far for Frank McGuigan. Tyrone looking to reach the All-Ireland semi-final for the first time in night since 1973 and certainly at the moment they're going the right way about it. Here they come forward once more, this time it's Paddy O'Neill, Paddy O'Neill to McGuigan. And he does it yet again. Well, much delight amongst the Tyrone supporters. And Armagh at the moment simply having no answer to Frank McGuigan. Seven points to one to own lead. There's Father Sean Hegarty, the Armagh manager, not looking too happy at the moment. Plunkett Donaghy. Frank McGuigan should get it yet again. Yes, he does. Damien O'Hagan finds Patsy Curlin. Curlin, strong man, sends it back in. And Cassidy gathers for Armagh this time, does well under pressure this time, and gets the ball to Fran McMahon. Fran McMahon finds Corbin. Johnny Corbin inside to Joe Curlin. Joe Curlin. Sends the ball wide. And that's the tenth wide that Armagh have had in this first half. Hagen. 
He didn't train during the week because of injury, but he's all right and having a fine game so far for Tyrone today. Ger Houlihan, just 19 years of age. Ger Houlihan, and showing a lot of composure that time, and sending the ball over for Armagh's second point of the match. Seven points to two, they trail. Arch McCrory, the Tyrone manager, he's certainly pleased with his men so far. Jim McCair. Got in the kick there. Johnny Corbin was fouled by Sean Donnelly. The referee spotted it quickly. And a free to Armagh. Corbin will take it. And an opportunity to narrow the gap. Oh, and it comes back off the upright. But it comes back to Corbin. What can he do? Skelton covers it and Tyrone get it clear Sean Donnelly eventually gets it away and Armagh really should have had at least a point there and the ball goes wide well a glorious opportunity from the free for Corbin to get a point the ball came back off the upright Corbin got it again got in the kick but Skelton had it covered, and eventually Sean Donnelly got the ball clear. Aidan Skelton, only five feet nine inches, but he's certainly one of the bravest goalkeepers in the game. Here's Jim McCurry. Frank Rafferty's running for it. McCurry gets in the kick. And it goes over for a point to Arma. Jim McCurry. 26 years of age, played his first match for Armagh eight years ago and gets a point this time. It's now seven points to three to Tyrone. This should be Hugh O'Hagan's. Yes, it is. Finds Plunkett Donaghy. Donaghy all the way to Frank McGuigan, but it's cut out by Cassidy this time. In fact, it's Kieran McNally. Kieran McNally finds Tommy Coleman. Coleman along to Moriarty. And the sideline ball is awarded to Tyrone. and two minutes remaining in the first half as Noel McGinn takes the sideline ball breaks to Damien O'Hagan finds Patsy Curlin Curlin, big strong man it's very difficult to stop him gets in the shot he's not pleased with his effort but a sign there that when Patsy Curlin gets loose he's very dangerous Back to play, Hugh O'Hagan is awarded a free. This is Plunkett Donaghy, dangerous ball inside. Frank McGuigan once more gets a fist to it and sends the ball over the bar. So coming up to half time, eight points to Tyrone, Armagh three points. And the referee calls half time 
following that point there by Frank McGuigan. So at the break, Tyrone, eight points, Armagh, the three points, and certainly an exciting second half coming up in prospect. So join us again after this short commercial break. Colin Harney takes a free, in goes Paddy Moriarty. But he loses out to Kieran McGarvey. Kieran McGarvey, all of six feet two and a half inches, 14 stone in weight. And McGarvey takes the free. Eugene McKenna looking for it but breaks to Tommy Coleman. Tommy Coleman, still Armagh have it, Jim McCurr, the substitute. McCurr sends the ball wide. O'Hagan only finds Peter Rafferty. Rafferty for Armagh. The ball intercepted by Eugene McKenna, who was injured in the process. Here's Paddy O'Neill. What a nippy little player he is. Does well as he beats Rafferty. Still O'Neill. And McAlinden judged it well and clears the ball. Now Tommy Coleman. Tommy Coleman. Here's John Corbin. What can Armagh do this time? Here's Jer Houlihan. Here's Joe Kearney. He shoots and a splendid save by Aidan Skelton. And the ball is still in play. Well, that was perhaps Armagh's best opportunity of a goal. Corbin was involved. He sent the ball across to Jer Houlihan. Houlihan's shot was superb, but Skelton's save was equal to it. Eugene McKenna, who's had a groin injury for the past few weeks, but he looks to be all right. And that's a relief for Tyrone. <laughs> Damien O'Hagan's all right. So too is Eugene McKenna, and play resumes with this free taken by Noel McGinn. Shea Daly finds Damien O'Hagan. The foul committed by Dennis Stevenson, the free to Tyrone. Colm Donachie comes out to take it. Donaghy. And the ball goes wide eventually. Brian McAlinden. Tommy Coleman. Loses out to Noel McGinn. Here Tyrone come the form of Eugene McKenna. Eugene McKenna, Colm Donaghy, and the ball goes wide.
when these two teams met in the 1980 final we had eight goals so far today though still no goals Joey Donnelly, Tommy Coleman, Kim McGarvey, Patsy Curlin. Patsy Curlin gets in the kick, McGuigan running for it. So too is Kim McNally. McGuigan wins it yet again. Still McGuigan. And McGuigan wins out, but his distribution of the ball only finds Joey Donnelly and he in turn finds Fran McMahon Johnny Corbin racing for it so too is Sean Donnelly Donnelly has it but gives it away Eugene McKenna Colm Donaghy Donaghy beating Brian Canavan well played by Colm Donaghy and he has every reason to be very pleased with that point. The angle was narrow, but he managed to put it between the posts. So another point to Tyrone, nine points to three. And Brian Hughes is on for Armagh, and Peter Rafferty is going off. So Armagh make their third substitution of the match. And Brian Canavan going forward. Johnny Corbin beaten by Sean Donnelly. And the referee will take Johnny Corbin's name for that foul. Brian Hughes there, who's gone in full forward with Paddy Moriarty dropping back to the half forward line. Damien O'Hagan. O'Hagan looking for McGuigan once more. And McGuigan yet again manages to win out. And despite the tensions of the Armagh man, he gets yet another point. So Tyrone lead by 10 points to three and eight points to Frank McGuigan. What a marvellous match he's having so far. Colm Donachy. Still Donachy. Bounces back into play off the upright, gathered by Colin Harney. And a free out to Armagh. Nine minutes gone in the second half. Tyrone leading by seven points. And Armagh will really have to improve their play dramatically. Colin Harney. No McGinn. Hugh O'Hagan is the man, number seven there, clearing for Tyrone. Plunkett Donachy. And the three awarded against Tommy Coleman. And a second Armagh name will go into referee Seamus Murray's notebook. That of number 10, Tommy Coleman.
the free 50 meters out to be taken by Damien O'Hagan. Shay Daly curls it back inside. This time, though, the ball goes wide. Plucked out of the air by Eugene McKenna. And at the moment, Tyrone winning everything. As Frank McGuigan mesmerizes the Armagh defense and gets yet another point. What a marvelous individual player is Frank McGuigan. He was on the 1973 team, which reached the All-Ireland semi-final. And at 30 years of age, he's still as good as ever, if not better. Paddy O'Neill. McMahon. Here's Brian Hughes, the substitute. Good ball inside to Ger Hulhan, but once more Tyrone managed to get the ball clear. Brian Canavan. Here's Jim McCair. Jim McCair loses Plunkett Donaghy. It sends the ball wide. Skelton with the kick out, up goes McKenna, wins out once more against Joe Kernan. Marvellous performance this afternoon by the Tyrone midfield combination, providing a marvellous supply to Frank McGuigan. At the moment though it's Cher Hulhan for Arama. Corbin, Jim McCair, and McCair sends the ball wide. for it once more this time it's Joe Kernan for Armagh distribution by Kernan certainly far from his usual standard Kevin McCabe short ball to Plunkett Donaghy Armagh have it covered but once more getting themselves into all kinds of trouble once McGuigan is anywhere close and just look at that for pinpoint accuracy. 12 points now to Tyrone, 3 points to Armagh. And 10 of those points have come from this man, Frank McGuigan. Now, what can Armagh do this time? The referee, though, has blown up play and a free out to Tyrone coming up to 15 minutes gone in the second half and right now Armagh are certainly in all kinds of trouble Jim McCurry to Fran McMahon as the rain pours down now here at Clonus and 
that time Amar doing a little bit better as Jim McCair got in ahead of Skelton and managed to get the ball over the bar for a point. So now it's four points to Amar, eight points to... Joe Kernan losing out to Plunkett Donachy. The ball just a little slippy at the moment with the rain bucketing down at the moment. Joey Donnelly inside to Brian Hughes. Brian Hughes. Johnny Corvin inside to Moriarty. Here's Jim McCare. McCare with the ball blocked down by Hugh O'Hagan. Oh, and off the upright as the ball came back in again. Armagh, yet another chance. Here's Moriarty once again as Armagh going for the goal, losing out. Here's Hugh O'Hagan getting the ball clear. Shea Daly. Well, perhaps Armagh at this stage should really still be looking to get points. Here's Eugene McKenna at the other end. McGuigan running for it and this time losing out. As Armagh desperately try and get themselves back into this match, Brian Canavan to Jim McCair. McCair losing his footing temporarily, but doing well as he's going all the way. The final kick not so good though. And Plunkett Donachy eventually managing to get the ball clear, gets it to his brother Colm. Colm Donachy trying to find O'Hagan, but Colin Harney. Gets it inside to Kieran McNally. Kieran McNally. Here's Brian Hughes. Brian Hughes. Out to Jim McCurry. Jim McCurry. Patsy Curlin's with him. Jim McCurry back to Hughes. Brian Hughes. Inside to Coleman. Tommy Coleman back inside gets in the shot but Aidan Skelton has it covered and is thankful to clear it out over the sideline Ger <laughs> Houlihan with the sideline ball that goes wide Skelton, this should be Brian Hughes's ball, but it beats him. And here's Jim McCurry. McCurry pumps it right back in again. Now Tommy Coleman, if he can get to it, but loses out to Noel McGinn. The ball's still in play, still there. And the referee awarding a free to Arma. Ger Hulhan there, he's worked hard but to no avail so far this afternoon. <laughs> Difficult angle this as Johnny Corvin curls the ball in and sends it over for a point for Armagh. So now it's Armagh five points, Tyrone 12 points. Skelton finds Kevin McCabe. McCurr 
doesn't manage to stop McCabe as he finds Damien O'Hagan. Still Damien O'Hagan. The referee, though, has blown up. O'Hagan held onto the ball too long and a free out to Armagh. Brian Hughes straight to Kieran McGarvey. McGarvey is brought down. Kieran McGarvey there. He's had a fine match so far for Tyrone. Kevin McCabe, Damien O'Hagan, still there, breaks back to Patsy Curlin, O'Hagan gathers once more, gets in the kick, could be dangerous, but the referee awarding the free out. To Armagh, quickly taken by Brian McAlinden. Here's Joe Kernan losing his footing on this very slippy pitch now. Brian Hughes and Dennis Stevenson. Plunkett Donachy. Noel McGinn. Dennis Stevenson. Shea Daly is with him. Stevenson gets in the kick. And Johnny Corbin. Is fouled there by Sean Donnelly. And Tyrone making a substitution, number 18, John Lynch, who played in an earlier round against Derry, but was subsequently injured, and he's come on in place of Colm Donachy. John Lynch, very experienced player. The free is taken, and a superb save there by Skelton, as the ball is sent back in again. So the free is taken by Stevenson. And Skelton did well to keep it out there. Aiden Skelton, not for the first time in this match, saving Tyrone and getting the ball clear. And Jim McCurry's name now has gone into the referee's notebook for that foul, the third Arma player to have his name taken in this Ulster final. There's Art McGrory, the Tyrone manager, urging on his men. Hugh O'Hagan, Frank McGuigan and Kieran McNally going for it. McNally wins this time. Kieran McNally, John Lynch tackles unfairly, and McNally gets a free. Colin Harney, Joe Kernan, Joe Kernan trying to find Corbin, the ball is sent on to Houlihan, what can he do now, Houlihan with the goal at his mercy, buries it and beats Aidan Skelton, so at last Armagh get a goal, Ger Houlihan who scored one of the vital goals in the semi-final gets another today. Well, at last, Armagh have found their rhythm as the ball was knocked on by Corbin. And in went Ger Hulen as Skelton came out. 
Houlihan had the goal at his mercy and made no mistake. It's now 12 points to Tyrone. Armagh 1-5. Four points now between the teams and less than 10 minutes remaining and that goal will have given Armagh a great deal of heart. Colin Harney, Houlihan looks for it this time, but Frank Rafferty losing out to Brian Hughes as the Armagh fans find their voices. And John Lynch committing the foul on Paddy Moriarty. Colin Harney with this free, a vital one. And Joe Curran got a touch to it there, but the ball went wide. Skelton. Only finds Ger Houlihan, the man who got that vital goal. Here's Fran McMahon. And Armagh now beginning to pile on the pressure. Corbin keeps it in. And still Armagh have it. Here's Houlihan once more. And the referee awards the free against number 18, the substitute John Lynch, for the foot up. So an opportunity now for Armagh to narrow the gap to just three points a simple one really for Johnny Corbin and he makes no mistake so now it's 12 points to Tyrone one goal and six points to Armagh fairly unexciting first half this game has really exploded into action Eugene McKenna winning the ball that time Plunkett Donachy to try and get her own going once more here's McGuigan the man who's caused so much trouble so far and yet again he does it well just when Tyrone seems to be losing their concentration up pops Frank McGuigan for yet another point his personal tally now 11 Tyrone's 13 Armagh 1-6 Brian McAlinden here's Hugh O'Hagan Patsy Curlin such a determined runner is Patsy Curlin still Curlin and yet another point Patsy Curlin such a difficult man to stop once he gets going and Tyrone certainly finding their form at a very vital time in this match 14 points to 1-6 they lead just over 5 minutes remaining with this free Shea Daly does well to hold on to it here's John Lynch Lynch only sends it as far as Fran McMahon Cher Houlihan has plenty of space out on the far side trying to find Moriarty Johnny Corbin has it now 
Corbin on to Kernan. And that was a very timely interception there by Plunkett Donaghy. play resumes with the kick out in fact to Tyrone Donaghy finds McGarvey Canavan was looking for it that time but of course came Lynch and this should be it oh no it comes back off the upright Paddy O'Neill was left completely clear there John Lynch sent in a superb ball and with Brian McAlinden completely stranded, the ball cannoned off the post and back into play. And yet again, the upright saves Arma. Well, we're certainly having a superb closing quarter in this match. Here's Fran McMahon. McMahon looking for Corbin and Donnelly. What can Corbin do now? In goes Corbin, out comes Aiden Skelton. Brave piece of goalkeeping and the free, the free out and some unpleasant scenes at the moment. McGarvey and Corbin having some words. The referee on the spot. Well, you can see Corvin and Donnelly. And really, in these closing minutes, Seamus Murray, the referee, will have to watch everything going on just in case this game could boil over. John Lynch is fouled. And Tyrone not in any great hurry at the moment with two minutes remaining. Not in any hurry to take this free. It's taken now to Plunkett Donaghy. And as long as Tyrone can keep the ball up that end of the field. Looking good right now for their first appearance in an All-Ireland semi-final since 1973. John Lynch, the substitute sending the ball back inside McGuigan has it, gets in the kick but Joey Donnelly for once manages to thwart McGuigan one minute remaining Kieran McGarvey mopping it up here's Kevin McCabe Free out to Armagh, just seconds remaining. Here's Ger Hulhan, finds Joe Kernan. Still Kernan, Eugene McKenna's after him. Johnny Corbin, and well, what a let off for Tyrone. Corbin got in the kick, and the ball came back off the post. That was so unlucky. Fran McMahon sends the ball over for a point it's now 14 points to Tyrone 1-7 to Armagh Johnny Corbin there had a glorious opportunity perhaps it would have been too late anyway but Tyrone were very lucky to get away with that one Tyrone fans urging the referee to blow full time
free out to Armagh. But at this stage, it won't matter. The referee looking at his watch, Brian Canavan, John Lynch, and Noel McGinn, who's had a marvellous match for Tyrone, getting it clear. Damien O'Hagan. Here's McGinn. McGinn sends the ball over. And surely that is that. Tyrone now, 15 points. Armagh, one goal and seven points. And we're now well into injury time as Kevin McKay comes forward once more. And this time the ball goes wide. And the referee once more looking at his watch there, but waving play on. And the Tyrone fans whistling. Jim McCurr for Armagh. Jim McCurr trying to find Corvin. Corvin manages to keep it in play. And Kerr McGarvey unceremoniously kicks the ball out over the end line for a 45. Johnny Corbin, Eugene McKenna, and another 45 to Armagh. Three minutes of injury time already played. As Johnny Corbin sends in the 45. Hugh O'Hagan gets it clear. And the referee, Seamus Murray, calls for the ball. And Tyrone are through to their first All-Ireland semi-final, having taken their first Ulster title since 1973. They started out this championship as 14 to 1 outsiders. Well, they've confounded all the experts. What a splendid victory by Tyrone. What a marvellous individual performance by Frank McGuigan. And so now Tyrone go on into the All-Ireland semi-finals.